Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to see how to take automated screenshots of websites or web pages using R with this package called WebShot. You can also take screenshots of R Markdown reports or Shiny applications. But in this case, in this particular video, we are going to only focus on websites, how to take screenshots of websites. So first, let's look at the developer. The developer is Winston Chang. So huge shout out to him. Thank you, Winston, for making this application, making this package and making it open source for us. So let's go ahead and install this package without delaying further. It's available on CRAN, so you can just go ahead and download it. I've created a package. Sorry, I've created a NAR project. So you can have a look at it. Um, WebShot, install WebShot. So as you can see, the way it works is WebShot uses Phantom JS. And Phantom JS internally um, emulates that um, a website and then it takes a screenshot. So you need Phantom JS for it. You can either manually download Phantom JS, but the easiest way is once the package is installed, you also install Phantom JS using that. So that's the easiest way to install Phantom JS. So Phantom JS is getting downloaded. Um, you can have a look at uh, a few information like how to do it. It's a very quite um, simple uh, in, uh, function. So you have a function called WebShot. You just have to pass the URL for which you want to take the um, web uh, screenshot. And also you can mention the format in which you want. And uh, this would help you take that. So this is quite handy in a lot of cases. And it also, as you can see, it also helps you take screenshot of a particular uh, selector. Uh, CSS selector so we'll see uh, what is in it um, you can have a look at it so let's first see okay phantom JS is successfully installed let's say library web shot okay let's uh, start with uh, the given example let's start with the example that they have given so it's best way to start any programming um, it's uh, looks like it is working when the website is um, screenshotted you can actually see okay oh nice so you can see there's a screenshot. Okay, that's nice. Um, now that we know that we can take a screenshot of any website, so let's go ahead and then open a website. So in this case, I like Hacker News a lot. So I'm a big fan of Hacker News. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if we can take a screenshot of Hacker News. So the advantage of um, doing this or uh, the particular use cases that you can actually come across is sometimes, um, you know, you have a very favorite website. It, it could be a sports score or something and you want to see a uh, constantly like what is happening over there so this will help you do that you can take a screenshot and then you know send a push notification to you or email it to you so let's have a look at hacker news or oh, nice hacker news um, website it has taken the entire website as you can see uh, when you see it in the browser you have to actually scroll down but it has taken the entire website if you if you want to zoom it a bit you can still zoom it a bit mm, let's let's look at the help document once okay so recently i was told that if you want to open help for an r document r function you can simply press f1 and then that would automatically open the help document so to say that you don't have to do that uh, what i just did before with question mark so you just have to press f1 i'm pressing f1 there and you can see that the help document has been opened so that is done let's see how to make a zoom zoom is equal to let's say two or three four okay whatever and let's go ahead and see what is it doing so once you can it's still executing after that we'll get to know okay it's done let's open the file so you can see that something has changed at least the size has changed okay so that is all good now what we can do is we let's pick a different website instead of this um let's go and see Okay, let's let's pick this um, R stats Reddit uh, um, R stats Reddit thre sub subreddit, and let's open developer tools to find out the particular selector that we want to select. Okay, mm, in, sorry, uh, web console. Okay, I'm a bit confused. Mm, what we want is we want to pick this, and then say okay um, in this particular page give me the screenshot of entire this this part or uh, let's see if there is any particular selector okay okay this is the only selector we can take doesn't have a particular name it doesn't have a good name okay so then this is a very wrong candidate for us to do let's go to some other website which gives some information let me go to TechCrunch and see if i can uh, find some 
selector over there tech crunch and uh, once again i have to open the selector uh, the shortcut the shortcut is not working okay shortcut worked okay i just came to tech crunch and then i'm trying to find out if there is any selector that i can pick mm. okay this looks like it has a div feature island main block okay main div is feature island post and uh, this is feature island okay this is the entire feature island which will leave out let's see feature island okay so now the website that we are trying to take screenshot is okay let me just paste my web shot okay i'm going to fill the url just wait a minute and then i'm going to say the selector in this case which is a dev uh, techcrunch.com okay so let's let's see and i want to say the image name is uh, file is uh, techcrunch.png uh, let's see what happens i hope i have uh, given the selector properly and uh, let's wait it is loading um, still loading so like i just said uh, it is really really handy for a lot of automated reports and uh, automation and you can also do a lot of hobby projects with this like i like i'm just doing like if you're interested in reading tech crunch uh, you can either get it as a, a as a script um, information to your inbox or you can do stuff like this what i've done i think tech crunch is quite um, they're probably not supporting what we are trying to do it's still taking time it is still loading while it is loading let's go to the help document and then see if we have any other information that could be useful for us um the other information that i wanted to highlight in this case is that uh, it's not just that you can take an image uh, i mean like screenshot but you can also um opt you can also change the size of it and a lot of other things and uh, we are not seeing about taking screenshot of shiny application or uh, are marked on but especially with shiny a lot of times you have to send a pdf report of a shiny application which is something that has been asked in number of times in a given organization um but that that is not uh, usually possible out of box but uh, using this this particular package web shot you can actually take an app shot using the function app app shot and then you can take a pdf of it and then you can share it with them uh, so let's oh it's still loading i think probably we might have to stop and then find a different uh, different website so let us before getting into it let's just have a look at it. um a different website let's say github.com mm. oh but doesn't open my github okay it's that's what it's doing okay so i just need one more website as it done okay it's uh, it is it didn't happen let's open um, anaconda website which is uh, the website where uh, you get anaconda package and uh, let's go to this website and try to see if we can take a particular part of it which is to say okay uh, a lot of modern websites are quite uh, okay so let's say if we can take a recent article section let's open our developer tools and see what 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 a section is this what section is this let's see what section is this this section is called mm, what is this section this section uh, let's see what what is this section this is called hero main flex okay let's say we want to do hero hero main okay so let's say this is the section that we want to take screenshot of and um, you can see hero main and anaconda.com it's loading meanwhile we can have a look at the help document and you can see that you can uh, take a particular uh, viewport if you want uh, you can use selector also the type of selector okay it is successfully taken oh i have not overwritten the name so i have just called it tech crunch let's open it and then see what is in it 
you can see the data has taken only that that particular viewport sorry that particular uh, hero section so that particular section that it has got so this way you can uh, take for any section so let's also try uh, a pdf um, in this case let's go back to hacker news and then say okay i want to take um, file is equal to hn dot pdf okay the other good thing is um, uh, in a lot of cases with respect to your r markdown if you want a pdf you need to have a latex installed on your machine which is a big headache itself um, uh, so but this this actually uses uh, because it uses phantom js you can actually get the pdf just like that so so you can see that uh, the pdf has been successfully made so it's a, it's a very good thing um, this uh, this package is quite handy for a lot of tasks that we just saw and um, i hope uh, this this gave you a new idea to make some hobby project or something that you wanted to try and uh, thank you very much for watching this video uh, we'll see in the next video if you have any comments please let me know in the comment section It'd be really helpful to get the feedback